Okay. Hello there, fellows. Welcome back. For some reason, my uh, my armor seems to have been on foot. And now I'm fat roll. <clears throat> because I'm not using that. Okay. There we go. Now, uh, in the last video, I said that I was going to be. Um, taking my health back down under the 10, 10 points to where I thought it was a bit more reasonable. I'm not doing that. And here is the reason why. I have heard... Um, yeah, I was sort of looking at the things other people have said about this mod and their opinions on it. And, um, I was meant to be a roll. And... It looks like um, this mod does something interesting with the Bed of Chaos. So I am going to uh, keep my health as it is until after the Bed of Chaos, at least. We'll stay after that. Really popped the health on these guys, didn't they? Whoa! That was a lot of damage there. Okay. Now the bonfire is close to the bit of chaos based on that location. It doesn't necessarily look like it's gonna be an easier run though. Not with these enemies there. Come on, man. I know it's not that close to this. I know it's we're pretty close to the last bonfire, but I'd kind of like another bonfire. Just because it's the better chaos. Why are you by this? What? Well, that's not very good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm running past you. What are you going to do about it? Nothing, exactly. And let's just run past these as well. Let's just go straight for the back Okay. Um, that looks a bit weird there. Right, let's see. So this is a big thing that this mod apparently was uh, really, Jesus Christ, was really like proud of, you know, and really pushing. Again, come. 
Ow. I didn't feel like I was close to those fights though. Anyway, that's pretty much all of them, isn't it? Yeah, we just got this one left. Oh crap. Move, 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 move. Strange. Teleported. Okay, I gotta keep an eye out for that time. Be safe there. You can't. I'm going really to look up more when it does that attack. I don't seem to see any indicator of where it's going to do damage to that attack. Whoa. safe from that. Oh crap. Oh man. Jesus. Oh, heal up, heal up. Heal. Okay, can I? Yeah, I can get in now. Heal up. Okay, move, 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 move. Whoa. Jesus, man. Heal up. Oh my god, there's so much shit in the way. Probably better than the original. Not that much better. It was still kind of annoying having a million things being spammed at me, but <laughs> it was definitely an improvement, you know. That would not be seen as the worst thing in the world, probably, if that was the version of Better Chaos we had instead of the other ones, you know. Um, so we've got two of the Lord Souls done Bed of Chaos and the Duke's Archive, so we've got two of the giants and the four kings let's uh, let's go we can't teleport straight to the top of the bottom, so we'll go here we're going to get sift on I think that wasn't that bad uh, I saw people online saying that was really really terrible I mean Maybe I'm trying to think, I mean maybe 
Uh, it did seem to be doing quite a bit of damage, I suppose. Uh, I do have quite a bit of health. But then again, I can't really comply. Uh, I did have to make changes to this mod to make it easier for myself, just so that I could actually, uh, well, not to make it easy, just so that I can actually enjoy myself, you know? I could do it, you know? I could do it at the level I was at before, and just wasn't having fun. And, uh... One of the things I liked about Daughters of Ashes, you know, it didn't change that much that you couldn't have fun whilst playing. It kept that same, the same damage, the same, you know, bag stabs, and, uh, parries, and it kept the essence of the original Dark Souls intact whilst making enough changes and things to make the game feel fresh. This tries to do that, but also tries to quote-unquote improve things, which is where I take issue with this mod. But they've rebalanced armor, rebalanced uh, shields, and rebalanced, you know, enemy AI and attacks and things to quote-unquote make the game better. But, you know, Dark Souls 1 is a legendary game. Yes, it has flaws, it's not perfect. There are some things that are broken about it, of course. But it's still a amazing game. And Daughters of Ash is like a good mod to uh, change things up whilst keeping the integrity of the game intact. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I always find it interesting that these guys, these mushroom guys, are the most hard-hitting enemies in the game. Those guys. Of all the enemies, it's those guys that are the most hard-hitting enemies in the game. <clears throat> Why are those guys still there? I always find these guys annoying. Fine, you run away. Cat's not here. There you go. Purchase item. Hmm. Rank one. Oh, okay, so you can expand the shop by buying these items. That's interesting. Okay, so you can actually have quite a bit. Okay, so that's quite a lot actually. Hmm. Interesting. You can sell items there too. Alright, come on then, Sif. I'm sorry, but we have to do this.
The Rite of Kindling? Oh, cool. Okay. So we get the Rite of Kindling from Sith. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Let's... Homeward Bone. Methinks. Which will probably end up taking us to Las Isleth, because I haven't rested at a bonfire since then, I don't think. Oh no, we took us here. Oh yeah, because I level up, didn't I? Okay. Let's reverse hollowing. Then I'll kindle this one. And then I will kindle uh, Filing Shrine. Cannot kindle any further. Okay, so they changed it. I thought they did. Kill you. Cool. Don't know why. Just, just felt like killing him. Just. <laughs> um. And let's start on New Londo ruins. Hoping this bonfire is in your under ruins. Really hoping this bon bonfire is in your under ruins, to be honest. But just in case. Because this mod's been very strange with bonfires, to be honest. It's added bonfires to some locations, which I thought didn't need bonfires added, and then it's taken away bonfires. In other locations, like Demon Ruins, which was a major issue to me, a major point of contention. Observe Cursed Effigy. Touching the Cursed Effigy inflicts the transient curse, allowing combat with Ghosts of New Lord. Okay, that's good. Well, that's a good change, right there. Homeward Bone, now oh, that's a change. Because in uh, the original Dark Souls, whenever there was a person trapped in a pot, it would always give you humanity. Every time. To indicate that the person died whilst being trapped inside the pot, and therefore you get their humanity mode. Breaking up. <clears throat> Okay, I like how they implemented this, I suppose. Okay, so I can't do damage. Okay. This is an interesting mechanic. I like that, I like that, I'm a fan. I am a fan of that. Okay, I could damage them before. But does it only give you for so many seconds from being next to it or something? Is that how it works? <clears throat> like, you got to be next to it. For it to work or something? That's what it seemed like.
now. Get up. Ghost dagger. Stop up. Let's get that again. Okay, so it's indicated by that little shimmering effect around it. Those little white shimmering dots. No. I thought it was. What is this? Jesus. Give me the... Jesus. Okay. Contraption doesn't move. Let's get the transient curse again. Come on, get off. Move, move, move. Put me on the floor. stone okay maybe they put that there just in case someone um, cursed themselves before coming to move on their own what was that what happened there so it didn't damage and then they just grab me. That's frustrating. I bet you there's a bonfire on the rooftop. That's just my uh, theory. That's something I'd do. That attack is so annoying. Okay, so this is um, this is good. I think I can safely say the changes here to this section of the game are nothing but positive. Well, you very, I know ex you see this. The four kings use this. Oh, the dark wraiths reside, but the abyss hollow. Long ago, if you could. Hello, that the key to. Cool. Oh, I honestly thought it was going to be a bonfire, but it just seemed like a, uh, a good place to go. Apparently not. Nearly at the first half of New London Ruins. Nearly completed the first half, I should say. Have any more items appear? Yes. Rare 
Ring of Sacrifice. I think that was the same in the original. Anyway, um, this has been nothing but positive changes to New Alder Ruins. I'm, uh, shouldn't really say it, but I'm, I'm surprised. To be honest, this mod was, uh, not quite as good recently, yeah, in my opinion. You know, there'd been a, a few areas that I wasn't too happy about, and you know, that's why I ended up. That's why I ended up uh, modding it, you know, uh, changing my health and stats and everything. Which I wouldn't normally do, because I would normally respect the mod makers and their choices they made, but I was just getting so frustrated, to be honest, with just being underpowered constantly, all the time, and then the changes that made, getting frustrated by the changes they made, because. Just felt like a lot of it was needless and affected the integrity of certain aspects of the game. But this area has been good. It has been a positive experience. I've enjoyed this. Abyssal effigies emerge from the ruins, casting out those who draw near. Abyssal effigies. But yeah, I would say Lost Lives of Lith was a negative. Demon of Ruins and Lost Lives of Lith, I think, they did not do, just in my opinion, my maker did not do a good job improving those areas at all, I would say. Yes. And this area, however, has been good. Yeah, I can approve of the changes made to this area, I will say. Abyssal effigies draw, uh... Emerge, it said. Abyssal effigies emerge. What's that supposed to mean? This or F? Maybe the humanity sprites from the DLC. <clears throat> Yeah, I think the modmaker was going for a very challenging experience when they made their their uh, mod. You know, they wanted it, the game to be challenging, and they wanted it to, um, you know, be very difficult in the way of Dark Souls Three, uh, speeding up the attacks of enemies and changing things like armor and things, making it so you can't abuse certain aspects of the game. Which I understand, I can respect that. But I think they went too far in, in my opinion, changing the damage values and things to the point where it affected my enjoyment of the mod. Because I like having freedom when I play Dark Souls. If I want to cheese enemies, I'll cheese enemies. But if I want to play really difficult, like Soul Level 1 run, I'll do that myself. But when playing these mods, I just want to have fun and experience the changes they've made to the game. And the gameplay and the little tweaks that they've made. But I couldn't really do that with the way that they... Uh, change certain aspects of the game. Seems like we're getting close. Whoa.
This looks like a fake altar. It's not, but it looks like it's. Hi, Titan Chunk. Okay. Looks like we've cleared our way to the boss. Um, I don't really have any healing items or anything. Shall I go for it? Shall I just go for it? Shall I just go for it? Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it, eh? Shall I try and drop down? Let's go for it. Oh, I forgot to put on the ring. <laughs> I forgot to put on the ring. Oh, goodness me. That was so stupid of me. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. Is there actually an opportunity to warp to the ring? There isn't, is there? No. We still can't warp there. My maker didn't think to uh, to add in new warp locations. It seems like. Okay, I'll make my way down to that, and then uh, I'll you know I'll get from there. I'll go from there to the boss. <clears throat> Dun, 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 dun. I will say one thing that I actually appreciate is um, this having one of these statues here before you get over there because this is one thing that is really good uh, that Dark Souls is really good at is introducing a concept first of all to the player in a safe environment where they can know what it is and it stands out, it's right here, before you actually need it. So it shows you the concept before throwing it in action, you know, over there. So that's quite good. That's um, some good learning game designers. Oh, hello, what are you doing here? You broke the... No, but you cannot proceed. Oh, what is it? So let's put in by a bonfire, that's pretty good as well. Okay, so there's, there's, there are really good changes made to the game here. Like have him come back to the bonfire as well and tell you that you're going to need a way to traverse in the abyss. Would be good in the regular game, you know, for a new player. So that's quite good. Anyway, um, I think I'll end this video here. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe even share this video with them if you're just good enough. Thank you again for watching. This is Sol Reborn signing out. Have a good one.